Yes, is it audible now? Check it. <coughs> yes. Okay. Don't disturb now, okay? Just close the door here. Yes. Sabse pehla mythology jo hai, myth jo hai, wo ye hai, ki you have to mug up NCRTs. NCRTs 11th and 12th standard. And the questions are asked directly from NCRTs. Now this is a big myth. NCRT as a book only allows you to understand a particular subject matter. Is it clear? That means that if I were to complete history, then I would be referring to 11th, 12th NCRTs to understand what was the ancient, medieval and modern history of India. Is it clear? If I were to understand Geography, I would be reading NCRT only to understand the subject matter. The 11th and 12th standard. Similar is the case applying to economy. Similar is the case applying to general science, science and technology and other subject disciplines. The questions are not going to be asked on the basis of NCRT. The another approach which most of the students follow is that you get lots of books. Is it clear? What they will do for Indian polity? They would bring Lakshmi Kant. For history, they would bring all the NCRTs. And some of them they refer Bipan Chandra. Read it multiple number of times. For geography, they would be referring NCRTs. Some of them might even refer DR Kuller. For economy, they would refer some, some of the students might refer to standard textbook of S. Chan, S. Chan publications, thick books or Uma Kapila. For general sciences, sometimes students they refer to Lucent's. Some of the students they refer to general science NCRTs. For science and technologies, there are various magazines. Along with that, students subscribe for lots of magazines, notes of institute, coaching institutes. And slowly, the entire rack of books keeps increasing. A kawat hai ki jab mohalle me UPSC ka aspirant aata hai, to raddi wale ki wawai ho jati hai. Because he is very sure ki nai kitabe aati rahegi aur raddi me jati rahegi. Yaha kuch ni bachne wala. Aapko in sub kitabo ke piche samay waste karne ki zarurat. And this I am going to prove it today. This is the question paper of 2023. UPSC. You all have in your hands. Is this clear? We have the first question. The question reads, consider the following statements. Jhelum river passes through Vular lake. Krishna river directly feeds Koleru lake. Meandering of Gandak river formed Kamar lake. Is this clear? It's a pure geography question. Is it clear? Aap log maante hai geography se poochha hua question hai? Right? Now what is the approach that you are going to follow? What is the approach that you are going to follow? What you will do? You will take up all the geography books and you will mark, aapne ek lesson learn kar liya that UPSC asks about rivers. And then suddenly you will be right, I have to know about all rivers. I have to know about Jhelum, I have to know about Ravi, I would have to know about Ganga, Yamuna, Narmada, all the rivers. And so this bright fellow, he turns off his mobile phone and he takes a notes and charts and he starts drawing all the rivers and all the lakes associated with rivers. And this goes on till one week. Because this would take minimum six to seven days and that also for hours if the person sit. Then also he won't be able to memorize and understand how these rivers, they, which cities these rivers flow through and what are the meanders. Isn't it? You agree? It is going to take a lot of time. So the point is, when UPSC is asking this question, what exactly is UPSC testing? UPSC is testing whether you have read newspapers or not. I'll give you an example. You see this? World's Wetlands Day. 
the upsc prelim examination was on 28th may 2023 and world's wetlands day was on 2nd february 2023 and when this world's wetland day was celebrated at that point of time we had the government of india via pib press information bureau is this clear via press information bureau the government of india it had released a bulletin it had released a bulletin with respect to wetlands is it clear and what happens is if you look at this question and if you look at wolar lake koleru lake and kamar lake these three lakes were extensively dealt with in this wetlands report via press information bureau so we have two candidates one candidate who had referred all thick textbooks done cartography of the, all the rivers memorized everything source of origin and where they are draining and another students who had been reading newspapers and who was well aware the moment world's wetlands report was wetlands day was celebrated the government had issued report and he went through the report extensively uska pehla jo question hoga wo bahut easy hoga wo immediately that person will know that the third option is correct first option is correct second option is incorrect Let us look at the second question. आप बोलोगे सर ये पहला वाला तो फंस गया वॉट अबाउट द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन लुक एट द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग पेयर इट्स रिटर्न पोर्ट्स हियर इज दिस क्लियर नाउ ओवर हियर द यूपीएससी इज आस्किंग हाउ मेनी अब पेयर आर करेक्टली मैच इज इट क्लियर द यूपीएससी इज आस्किंग हाउ मेनी पेयर आर करेक्टली मैच सो ओवर हियर there are three ports kamarajar port mundra port visakhapatnam port now again the first candidate yaar upsc ports bhi puchta hai is this clear so again he goes to the wikipedia downloads number of ports in india is this clear and he also has to know what are the characteristic feature of these ports and another 10 days this genius is going to memorize all the ports ye ye 18 ghante padhne walo ki jo breed hai main uski baat kar raha hu and then there is a normal boy what is he doing this normal guy he has read newspaper you see this date of the newspaper 3rd april 2023 exam kab tha 28th of may 2023 now this was the hindu which had published a news item absolutely right because that was the characteristic feature which is mentioned in the entire news article is this clear so when you are talking about kamarajar port the question that is asked don't you think that it is directly asked from a news item which was published on 3rd of april 2023 iska jab aap elaborate news item dekhoge usme mentioned it's a public limited company and look at the second option mundra port you know there was this news drug overhaul you must have heard in mundra port and this question was asked directly because over here mundra port largest privately owned port in india which is true is it clear so when you are talking about visakhapatnam port also what we see is attains fourth position in cargo handling in india are you required to remember all the ports no you are only required to remember the port which was in news is this clear the question is not going to be asked on the basis of you have to only learn what is important what is important in upsc whatever is in news you might ask sir these are geography questions yes is there any doubt or question so when you are asking these when we are going through these first two questions let us look at the third question isn't it bhai pehla theek hai second theek hai what about the third now we come across the third question quite a simple question they have given three trees again let's remember the genius now the genius says we have to remember upsc asks 
scientific name of every tree. So it becomes important. So he tells his mother, I want a strong coffee because today I am going to memorize all the trees that are there along with their scientific name. And he bought a nice guide. Or us guide me left hand side me all the trees names are given and on right hand side there is names of scientific names. Rule number one guys, if you want to excel in this examination, do away with guides. No shortcuts. Is this clear? No tools, ready-made material, do away with it. That's garbage, absolute garbage. Now, these three questions, jackfruit, mahua and teak. How come these three uh, trees and the question come in the examination? So the answer is again, now see how UPSC plays with your mind. Is it clear? Now, there was on 16th of June 2022, because it's a year exam, so one year current affairs is important. Over there, in UP, there was a Kathal festival. Kathal is jackfruit. And in this news report of Kathal festival, they had mentioned the scientific name of Kathal. Is it clear? Mahua to aapko sabko pata hi hai. Main mahua moitra ki baat nahi kar raho. I am talking about mahua which is used for making liquor. Is it clear? So mahua is something which is known to everyone. Now the point is teak. Now see, its scientific name and its properties. And UPSC immediately asked question on teak. See, what I am showing you is, what you are looking at is a geography question or you might say, sir, it's a question asked from botany. But is this a question asked from botany? No. Is this a question asked from geography? No. It's a current affairs question. Chalo, let us have one more. Aapne ka, sir, teen bar ho gaya, aisa thodi hota hai. Aage aap dekhna. The questions would be from other books. Main itni moti kitab leke aya hon, publication ki. 900 pages, such nice cover print and the fragrance is amazing. I hope the publication guys forgive me for whatever I am saying. Because let me tell you, let me confess from my heart. The number of books and those which are available on the counter, they have made education confusing. Aaj se 20 saal pehle education was more qualitative and standardized because limited books were there. You know, you know what you have to read, what you have to study. So now let us look at the fourth question. Right? Okay, now you will be asking me, India has more arable land than China, proportion of irrigated area is more in India and the average productivity per hectare in Indian agriculture is higher than China. Now again the genius the genius child. He inferred, yes, the UPSC also asks about agriculture. Usne dat sundaram uma kapila ki book nikali, Indian agriculture. It has 250 pages. And then this time, he says that I am gonna close myself, shun away from the outside world. I am not gonna talk to anybody. And I will read this 200 pages. Full on Josh Oskar. Is this clear? And he will keep on memorizing everything. But will UPSC be asking question from that? No. See what UPSC did. Now UPSC, it took the question from 11th November 2022 when the government of India had released a paper achieving Atma Nirbharta in agriculture. This was a paper that was released by the government on 11th of November 2022. And over there verbatim it was mentioned how is Indian agriculture vis-a-vis -vis China. Did UPSC pick up the question from those thick books? No. UPSC simply asked the question from what is going on. So this student, I would say the mediocre student, who was reading the newspaper daily, he went through this article. Is this clear? The article 
where it was mentioned, where the summary extract was there. And he also Googled the entire Atma Nirbharta in Agricultural Report. And when he Googled it, he was able to have all the understanding, the gist of that report. Rather than reading that thick 250 pages report, or two, thick 250 pages of conventional text, now this student is updated with respect to the findings of the government. Who will be able to answer this better? The latter one. Jisne current affairs pada hai. Let us see. Now again we come at the fifth question. Is this clear? Now if you look at the fifth question over here, you might say ki sir ye to clear cut jo hai, current affairs ka question nahi hai. This I am very sure is directly being asked from geography. Learn it by heart. But see what happened. Now what happened was, on 3rd February 2023, when did the UPSC prelims examination happen? 28th May 2023. Two to three months ago, on 3rd February, India's G20 presidency, Gujarat's run of Kutch to host first tourism working group meet. And in this article, they had mentioned extensively how the run of Kutch area developed because of the lowering of sea level and how the rising of sea level and lowering of sea level impacts run of Kutch. Is this clear to you? Are you all with me? Are you able to understand? Right now we have dealt with five questions. And what do these five questions look like from which subject? Geography. Is it clear? But are these questions from geography? Is the UPSC actually testing how much geography you know? No. What is the UP? How much aware you are? Is it clear? It is not about whether you are knowing too much of subjects, subject in depth or concept, but how much aware, general awareness that you have. Let us have one more test. Da. Can I, sir, aapke ye jo hai attempt lag rahe, but I don't believe I need more proofs. Now let's look at this entire, this one more question. What we see is, Elmena and Rutile abundantly available in certain coastal tracts of India, rich sources of which one of the following? You all know it's tea time. So now you will ask, sir, are we required to remember all the mineral names? Are we required to measure, to remember all the ores? No. Again, what we see is UPSC had asked it because on 18th April 2022, there had begun a certain trend towards the minerals that are found along the beach. Is it clear? And this goes on and on. When you are talking about the seventh question also about three-fourths of world's cobalt, a metal required for manufacturing of batteries for electric motor vehicle is produced by, it is Democratic Republic of Congo. Now why was this question asked? Because in 2023, February, in Rajya Sabha, our Minister of Science, Dr. Jitendra Singh, he was asked a question with respect to why is electric vehicles getting delayed in India? And over there, he had answered this. Along with that, there was a report that was published. And what was that report with respect to? It was with respect to red cobalt. In Congo, what is happening? While extraction, excavation of cobalt, there is mass human exploitation taking place. It is like, you must have heard about blood diamond. Today, the mobile phones that you carry is actually having blood of Africans. Why? Because in the extensive mining, a lot of Africans, they are losing their lives. And it's a huge human catastrophe. And that cobalt is very important for mobile phones. And this was in news for quite a long time. And it was a quite a contentious issue that we saw in UPSC asked directly. Is this clear? And we can go on and on. So when you're see, this is the question that was asked. How modern day slavery in the Congo powers the rechargeable battery economy? Is this clear? So this, this question was directly asked. What is the date of the newspaper? 1st February 2000. I can go on and on and let me tell you out of 100 questions, 
I can prove that about 7 to 75, 70 to 75 questions are directly picked by UPSC in this manner. Aapke saath ek baut bada khela kiya jata hai. You are misguided that you will have to read so much, so many and lots of books in order to prepare for this examination. I'll give you more example. Pratyaksh ko praman kya. Isn't it? When we have everything in front of us, don't you think it will be easy for us to understand what exactly is happening? Look at the next question. Which of the following is a part of Congo Basin? Now why is this question asked with respect to Congo Basin? Do you know why? Are we required to remember all the basins of the world? You might uh, again the genius candidate ask. And he's suddenly a brilliant now. And then he is like, now they have asked for Congo. That means next exam they will not be asking for Congo. They will be asking for Mississippi Basin. They might be asking for Rhine Basin. So now he brought a world geography book. Bazaar se. Nice book. Nice print, nice cover. And he brought maps also. And he started plotting the maps. Right from Colombia, San Francisco, right from all Mississippi rivers, Amazon, Nile. And another 10 to 15 days. Oh, no. Why did UPSC ask? UPSC asked because in United Nations, a report was, I, I, I'm missing that slide. In United Nations, a report was published in 2023. And this report mentioned about all the countries which are there in Congo Basin. And over here amongst the option, which is the right answer, it's Cameroon. The point is, are we required to mug up all the basins? No. We are only required to know which basin was in news. Yes. Get me the newspaper, Indian Express newspaper. Let us look at, I'll take the last one, one more. Is this clear? So this will make things more clear to you. Now, one more question we consider. Amar Kantak hills are at the confluence of Vindhya and Sayadri ranges. Amar Kantak is in Madhya Pradesh. Very important hills. Maikala ranges. And then you have Biligiri Rangan hills constitute easternmost part of Satpura range. You have one more question. Seshashalam hills constitute southernmost part of western ghats. Now again the genius. Hills bhi banta hai. Isn't it? So now he brought Indian geography. Is this clear? A popular or usme hills ka portion nikala. He started memorizing Harish Chandra range, western ghats. Sayadri, Satpuda, Annamalai Hills, isn't it? And all the peaks, he's memorizing it. Another 15 to 20 days, he is involved in this rigorous preparation. But is the UPSC interested to know about your hills? No. Why did the UPSC ask this question? Now see why it asked. In 1572 inscription was found in February 2023 was found in Sesha Chalam Hills. Is it clear? And in this news item in Andhra Pradesh, there was extensive mention of the Sesha Chalam Hills. Again, there was a news with respect to Amar Kantak, with respect to Maikala Hills. The questions that were asked over here with respect to Biligiri Ranjan, Sesha Chalam and Amar Kantak was not to test whether you know the hills of India or not, but it was whether you have read the newspaper or not. Are you updated or not? Are you getting the idea what exactly is UPSC testing? Initially, in fact, if I were as a teacher, I might write a PIL that UPSC should stop mentioning the syllabus that history, geography, environment, ecology, general science, you know, extensively syllable. And it must only mention newspapers and current affairs, current events, general awareness. Is this clear? Let us see one more. 
बाकी तो अब ये चलता रहेगा आई थिंक इट विल गो ऑन एंड ऑन एंड विद दिस स्पीड इट्स ऑलरेडी सिक्स फोर्टी फाइव विल नॉट बी एबल टू कवर ओनली ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो बट द पॉइंट इज इफ यू लुक एट दीज क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन पेपर इज इन योर हैंड वेदर ईस्ट वेस्ट कॉरिडोर इफ यू टॉक अबाउट यूरेनियम डिपॉजिट दिस वॉज इन न्यूज इफ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द क्वेश्चन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू इनवेजिव स्पीशीज राइट नाउ लुक एट द वैगल डांस इज दिस क्लियर you know this vagal dance of honey bees this was in news see look here 10th march 2023 this is science news is this clear 10th march 2023 when was the upsc examination 28th may and 10th march 2023 honey bees waggle to communicate but to do it well what is the question asked which of the following organisms perform waggle dance ab wo genius mat ban jana ki sir mujhe sare animals ke bare mein bhi malum hona chahiye no because i am i'm serious sir that you will always find this upsc aspirant in every home who is very enthusiastic to impress upon the parents papa do you know this that i've read it today that honey bees they dance that's a waggle dance next time if i see a honey bee maybe i could jive together is this clear upsc is least interested the idea is what whether you have read your newspapers or not you can go on and on <clears throat> some microorganisms i mean you look at this question ah uh-huh, yes upsc is quite notorious also kuch aise तीन चार फनी क्वेश्चन जरूर पूछ लेती है फॉर एग्जाम्पल औरंग यूटैन एज अज अ मैमल इज नोन फॉर मेकिंग अ टूल विद द स्टिक टू स्क्रेप इंसेक्ट फ्रॉम अ होल इन अ ट्री और अ लॉग ऑफ वुड इज दिस क्लियर नाउ ओवर हियर इट इज ऑलवेज एक्सपेक्टेड दैट यू विल यूज योर कॉमन सेंस इज दिस क्लियर नाउ विच ऑर्गेनिज्म इज नोन फॉर टूल मेकिंग वी ह्यूम राइट we are the tool making organisms and amongst all these four who is nearest to us of course i don't want any lazy guys over here saying sir sloth bear i'm quite close to sloth bear i think orangutan right that's 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 very close if you look at the hominids hominins we see that uh, as homo sapiens we evolved from orangutans so you are also required to have some form of smart logic while answering the upsc questions along with your basic newspaper studies right so what we see is again there are questions that are asked now you must know this 22 question 22nd question now this question was this is a typical upsc question that is asked because what had happened after the post pandemic world what did we see price rise है ना इन्फ्लेशन इन्फ्लेशनरी ट्रेंड एंड इट वॉज इन मे टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू आई ऑफ इंडिया स्टार्टेड रेजिंग द रेपो रेट सी वन थिंग यू हैव टू बी वेरी वेरी सर्टन यू मस्ट नो द बेसिक्स वेल इज इट क्लियर यू मस्ट बी साउंड विद योर बेसिक्स इट शुडेंट बी दैट यू आर रीडिंग अ न्यूज पेपर एंड यू डू नॉट नो वॉट इज अ रेपो रेट एंड वॉट इज अ रिवर्स रेपो रेट वॉट इज बेंच मार्क प्राइम लेंडिंग रेट इज इस क्लियर यू हैव टू बी साउंड विद योर बेसिक्स that's when you need a mentor who could cruise you through all the basics quickly rather than you wasting your time in understanding it but look at the question that is asked in the post pandemic recent past many central banks worldwide had carried out interest rate hikes which is right fed reserve reserve bank of india the central bank of united kingdom all of them even european union they had raised the hikes and then there is a statement too central banks generally assume that they have the ability to counteract the rising consumer prices via monetary policy understand it this way for example a student understands that the moment the interest rates increases don't you think you have to pay more for loans loans are dearer right when loans are dearer don't you think that you are supposed to pay more interest and when you are paying more interest you are left with lesser disposable income 
और टू मेक थिंग्स मोर इजी रेपो रेट रिवर्स रेपो रेट करटेल्स द पावर ऑफ द बैंक टू गिव लोन्स टू कंज्यूमर्स एंड वेन बैंक ऑफर लेसर लोन्स डोंट यू थिंक पीपल विल हैव लेसर परचेजिंग पावर एंड वेन पीपल विल हैव लेसर परचेजिंग पावर द गुड्स परचेज वुड बी लेसर एंड वेन गुड्स दैट आर परचेज आर लेसर डोंट यू थिंक इट इज गोइंग टू ड्राइव डाउन डिमांड राइट इट विल ड्राइव डाउन द प्राइस a typical upsc question is that asked from the monetary economics no hamara jo brilliant genius hai wo monetary economics ki bhi book leke aaya bola main fisher padhunga this time he has come up with a foreign author and at the dinner table usne janboojh ke fisher ki book pehle samne rakh di taki everybody see what is this sir huh? is like it's the book on fisher since i am appearing for upsc I am going to also learn about monetary economy. Or in genius, to identify, करना बहुत आसान होता है. Let me tell you how to identify this genius. You go to their room and you select any book. Is it clear? वो book के पहले दो pages जो है, वो used होते हैं. उस पे कुछ underlining होता है. And rest all pages are new. The books are brand new. Is this clear? these geniuses they never clear because they it's not that they are not studying in fact they study more than those who clear the exam but they are studying in a wrong manner and the worst the biggest culprit today is internet because the moment you open the internet you are exposed you are exposed to a pandora's box are ye bhi pad lo ye bhi pad lo and नाउ अडेज वी हैव सर्टन पीपल सेल्फ स्टाइल गुरुज हो गए हैं ज्ञान देते हैं दैट वाई इज दिस पॉलिसी हैपनिंग वॉट इज द कॉन्स्पिरसी ऑफ सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट यू ऑल आर नेवर रिक्वायर्ड टू गेट इन टू दीज डिटेल्स इज इट क्लियर दिस हैज नथिंग टू डू विद यूपीएससी प्रिपरेशन यू हैव टू ओनली अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज रेलिवेंट एंड वॉट इज नॉट इज इट क्लियर वॉट वी सी इज ओवर हियर what was relevant inflation price rise and what are the inflationary tools monetary policy is this clear there are two forms of monetary policy one is one is stimulus other is contractionary expansionary and contractionary is it clear we'll see more i'll just quickly take you through the entire question paper that was asked again if you look at consider the investments of the following assets now this is a unconventional upsc question the answer is intellectual property is this clear but please understand this form of a it is directly asked from 15th finance commission is this clear you should know what are the recommendations by the 15th finance commission again that is a current affairs question current events is it a question asked from the core economy no it's about current events look at the next question uno ops sustainable investment again it's a current event the due process of law means fair application of law well that's a constitution question that is asked and please you do not need to be a lawyer to understand these questions is it clear constitution is generally understood extensively intensively by a upsc aspirant is it clear so we generally devote a quite large chunk of lecturing by experts in constitutional law so that you do not falter with respect to constitution of india you cannot clear the upsc examination without knowing the constitution thoroughly is it clear so you will be having panel of experts having doctorate with respect to constitutional law is it clear however what we see is there is this upsc asking question then prison reforms are again asked see again there is a constitution question that chief purpose of the constitution of india defines the limit of the government this is this a conventional question that is asked by upsc again we have conventional question now upsc asked this national commission for backward classes this was in news isn't it we saw the issue of maratha reservation was quite 
in news and this had raised a lot of aspects with respect to national commission for backward classes we have also introduced amendment acts were introduced with respect to it so we see whether it is questions with respect to polity whether it is question with respect to economy whether it is question with respect to geography will you agree that the questions are more current affair oriented rather than subject expertise let me give one more example look at this question which of the following regions was dhanyakatak which flourished in prominent buddhist center under mahasangikas where is it located it's located in andhra let me see if i'm having the slide now what had happened which city is chairing sco this time nalanda yes nalanda is chairing the sco so this news item was there in 2023 and in that article it was extensively mentioned which are the important cultural sites associated with mahasangikas is this clear so is it important for you ki culture mein aapko sabhi religions bhi yaad kar rahe hain dekho aage jainism pe question aayega is this clear now look at there is a question on jainism souls are not only the property of animal and plant like but also of rocks running water and many other natural so now this genius so says ki we are also required to study religion but are you required to study religion no you have to know only about what was in news agar news mein hai to relevant hai news mein nahi hai to relevant nahi hai aapko koi zarurat nahi hai ek shastri banne ki ya fir कोई एक पंडित बनने की दर यो स्टार्ट ये कुछ कुछ तो है सर अब हम वैदिक स्टडीज भी करेंगे सर हम ना दीज फॉर्म्स आर नॉट रिक्वायर्ड यू आर नॉट रिक्वायर्ड टू गो थ्रू सच फॉर्म्स ऑफ अ टॉर्चर फॉर योरसेल्फ अगर टॉर्चर गो थ्रू करना है बेटर टॉर्चर्स है इज इट क्लियर सो वॉट वी सी अगेन ये विजयनगर डैम ये तुंगभद्रा रिवर के ऊपर जो डैम था देवराया वन दिस वॉज इन न्यूज इन टू is this clear so whenever you are talking about questions with respect to culture also what do you see that those questions are asked which are relevant with respect to news items even in history you are not required i know students who went on to buy textbook nilkanth shastri ya pichle saal question puch liya tha south indian history pe now he goes to the bookshop a nilkanth shastri ki book dena that's a 450 pages book he will also go vd mahajan bhi do aap al basham bhi de do aur romila thapar kahi aisa na ho dusra koi pad le aur main piche chhut jaau is it clear and he comes home with these much of books 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 but are these books going to help him in any way na no upsc ko koi interest nahi banta what a bookworm you are is it clear whether you have read your newspapers or not so we go on and on for example carbon fibers carbon fiber 2023 was supposed to be the year of carbon <coughs> fibers it was in news are you required to know all science and technology absolutely not kabhi question aaya tha satellite pe is the question asked because upsc wants you to be isro's director bhi aap question puchoge yaar main satellite ke bare mein kyon jaanu mera matlab kya hai satellite ke bare mein janne ka isn't it bhai i am not going to head the isro's director because that's not offered to a career bureaucrat that's reserved for scientists why should i know which species was discovered where isn't it why should i know what the hell is going on in scientific world but upsc wants you to know what is going on in this world it is going to test your general awareness we go on we see see satellite ka naam liya satellite hazard satellite navigation system bio filters you have now again recirculating aquaculture system again it was in in andhra that there was a set, there was a facility that was established when we talk about all these questions whether it is ballistic missiles whether it is 
with respect to gold mining. You see there is, there's a Ukraine war going on, right? Directly the question is asked, how many of the above mentioned countries share a land border with Ukraine? Is this clear? The idea is that the candidate has read his newspapers or not. Hamesha samaj lena saal bhar ke akhbar mein kahi na kahi bhukam zarur aata hai. Is this clear? In entire year, at least 5 se 6 bhukam zarur aa jayenge. Long time ago, when we used to prepare, we used to have two optional subjects, not one optional subject. And it was at night, around 12 o'clock, I was going through my revision and I felt a, a, a big tremor. And I quickly got out, I knocked the doors of my friends and I started <coughs> running down. And as I was going down, there was this one geography optional candidate running down. And while running down, he was telling me, I am telling you, Delhi must be included in zone 5. Usko maut ka khauf nahi tha. Usko us samay geography ke concept yaad aa rahe the. Ki zones mein kaise divided hai region. To aisa bhi nahi banna hai guys. Is this clear? The point is, UPSC is going to ask you primary waves, secondary waves, seismic waves. Because they were in news. Kahi na kahi to bhukam pa jata bhi Taiwan mein. Is this clear? Or jaisi bhukam pa hai ga. You will see newspaper writing extensively about primary wave, secondary wave, which was the focal point. Is this clear? Where did the quake originate? Or uske baad mein panel bethega, discuss more and more about earthquakes. Is this clear? Or wo chapega? One principle. You will only and only remember what you read. Is this clear? What you write. And the principle for UPSC is think before you write and read before you think. Is this clear? You have to always read before you think. Because there are many people who are thinking about it. And they are thinking about it. And they are scientists. Is this clear? Because they are always coming up with new theories. And they are debating about it. And they are very mahir. So you should never waste your time. You should always read. <coughs> and read what? What's there in newspaper. Is it clear to you? So we will see few more questions. Again, you see there are questions asked in economy. Aerial metagenomics. Again, it was in news in 2023. Micro satellite was in news in 2023. You can go through all the other questions that have been asked. See, in context of finance, the term beta refers to. Is this clear? Now, what was happening? You know that 2022-23, there is a huge stock market awareness now in the in India. After watching that scam serial, everybody wants to be Harshad Mehta. Isn't to be? Isn't it? और जब जैसे ही झटके पड़ते हैं, जोर का झटका धीरे से लगे। So what is happening? We see there is a trend that is taking shape. We see other questions whereby healthcare system, United Nations World Water Development Report. What is the year given? 2022. We go on and on. You see. Again over here, Somalia is undergoing catastrophe, we all know. We see that there is more questions with respect to, now this was a typical UPSC question. You can see whenever you come across such questions which is highly specific and which is asking pinpointed, you have to bear in mind that what is your aim? To clear the prelims examination, you have to stick to newspapers. And then, again you see, now this is a very easy question, I think everybody will be able to answer. But see how the UPSC tricks you. Now, 
the constitution day is celebrated on 26th november every year everybody knows it to promote constitutional values among citizens and 26th november 1949 the constituent assembly of india set up a drafting committee under chairmanship of dr b r ambedkar to prepare a draft constitution of india now what is the mistake over here in the second statement can you please tell me can you please tell me what's the mistake yes 19 1920 46 yes absolutely he is right what what happened on 26 november 1949 it was adopted the constitution was adopted enacted on 26 january is this clear in the preamble we have the date that is given what 26th november 1949 so was he made the chairman of the drafting committee on 26th of november no that was the day when the constitution was adopted and enacted to yahan par upsc ne aapke sath khela kar diya aapko confuse kar diya aur aap galti karke aa gaye kyunki jab aap check karoge tab aap sochoge ki kaise chullu bhar pani mein doobe is this clear so you have to be very very careful with respect to questions that are asked in upsc one rule and you remember all all your life If UPSC is asking you easy question, वो है ना कहते हैं ना बुलाती है जाना नहीं इज दिस क्लियर UPSC इज डूइंग दैट विद यू वॉट इज यूपीएससी डूइंग बुला रही है आजा गलती कर इज दिस क्लियर बट जाना नहीं बिकम वेरी केयरफुल ये यूपीएससी है ऐसी क्वेश्चन नहीं पूछा है सो यू हैव टू रीड द क्वेश्चन वन टू थ्री फोर टाइम्स सिलेक्ट ऑल द ऑप्शन देन यू विल रियलाइज अच्छा ये खेला हो रहा है इज इट क्लियर सो अगेन वी हैव क्वेश्चन राइट यू हैव स्टेबिलिटी एंड ग्रोथ पैक यूरोपियन यूनियन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री इज इट क्लियर दैट द पोस्ट पैंडेमिक यूरोपियन यूनियन अगेन जी सी एम होम गार्ड अगेन दिस वॉज इन न्यूज ऑफिशियल सीक्रेट एक्ट डायरेक्ट इट वॉज आस्ट इन न्यूज और एक और चीज हर साल 26 जनवरी को अवार्ड्स तो दिए जाते हैं इज दिस क्लियर सो दैट इज वन पोर्शन यू कैन ऑलवेज एक्सपेक्ट यूपीएससी टू आते मतलब कि जो 26 जनवरी को जो अवार्ड्स दिए जाते हैं गैलेंट्री अवार्ड परमवीर चक्र अर्जुन अवार्ड इज दिस क्लियर वेन ऑल दीज अवार्ड्स आर डिक्लेयर्ड एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम यू हैव टू ऑलवेज मेक नोट इज दिस क्लियर so you that that's how awards questions are asked and then israel se related to sabhi questions puche hi jayenge aajkal bada news mein hai aur ye chess olympiad 2022 it was in news in july kahan par hua the chess olympiad which city chennai yes very good very good so we see the mascot was thambi that's that's a question that was asked by upsc and then donbas you know the battle of donbas ukraine mein hai battle of donbas it was in news again current affairs then you have then in the hindu there was a news item there is a series of wave uh, revolts or coups taking place in west africa and this question is directly asked from those from that news item ab if you talk about green hydrogen is pe two questions are upsc ne asked this time in 2023 two questions were asked from green hydrogen because the government in 2023 launched the national green hydrogen mission is this clear and based on that report two questions were asked and then the last question we have g20 and you know digital public infrastructure why g20 kahan hua tha प्रेसिडेंसी इंडिया में इज दिस क्लियर और जब वहां पर जब उसे कंडक्ट किया गया एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम देर वॉज अ सेपरेट कमिटी दैट वॉज इस्टेब्लिश फॉर डिजिटल पब्लिक इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर गाइज आई हैव डिस्कस हंड्रेड क्वेश्चन विथ यू आर यू विद मी डू यू अग्री दैट अबाउट फिफ्टी टू सेवेंटी परसेंट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन वर बेस्ड अपॉन करंट अफेयर्स अवेयरनेस वॉज इट बेस्ड अपॉन standardized books those thick thick textbooks now you understood 
वाई यू कैन क्रैक द एग्जामिनेशन इन फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट आप चाहे पांच साल पढ़ो या सात साल पढ़ो अगर आप अगले साल पेपर दे रहे हो आपको उस साल का करंट इवेंट्स पढ़ना है पिछले सालों का करंट इवेंट्स रेलेवेंट है क्या आई यू गेटिंग सी हाउ काम क्रैक द एग्जामिनेशन इन फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट आई टेल यू वन वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट आई हैव नेवर सीन अ मोर फोकस्ड आई वुड आई वुड से अ ब्रिलियंस ऑफ दैट गर्ल बिकॉज she was so determined and knowing what exactly she had to do daily newspapers writing it notes making every day was updated and that's what is required for cracking this examination i am telling you again do not give yourself 3 4 5 6 7 years to crack this examination no you are wasting your time this is only an entrance exam this exam has nothing to do with the the actual life of civil servants in fact we 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 have certain interviews of some civil servants we will be uh, releasing those videos very soon a lot of prominent bureaucrats keep coming and interacting but i do not believe in a lot of sessions like this i'll tell you why because after 3 to 4 years in services the person loses complete contact with the examination and whatever they have learnt in their services is something which upsc does not ask is this clear to you aapka aim kya hai exam crack karna ias aap baad mein banoge training ke baad is this clear pehla aim kya hai exam crack karna please do not and i i have there are lots of students there was a time kanishk kataria used to sit in my class the post independence history that was the time he sit very uh, a very humble guy iit and he is the rajasthan cadre and uh, with extreme humility he was there aman bir singh was a student a brilliant student now all these students had one very particular characteristic feature they were sincere with respect to their studies and i never saw them debating arguing or wasting their time over what is happening they dealt with this examination like an exam came cleared it and joined the training program after the training program they became whatever officer they wanted to become is it clear to you now that i have told you the importance of newspaper it becomes important for me to explain how to read a newspaper also what exactly is there in these newspaper is this clear see when you talk about newspapers i am i'm very closely connected with lot of big media houses whether it is the times group the hindu or the express group and all newspapers are good i would not say that a particular newspaper is better than the other all newspapers are buying news items from news agencies whether it is reuters whether it is press information bureau is this clear so when you, whenever you are having news that you are reading that is being bought from a news agency but amongst all newspapers the hindu and the indian express are more relevant to upsc preparation five good newspapers if i were to identify for upsc preparation they would be the indian express the hindu hindustan times is also a very good newspaper having very good articles financial express is a good newspaper you have a lot of finance related news and i also like the statesman it's it's a good newspaper it's got quality articles is it clear you have to remember one thing our body is what we eat similarly our mind is what we read is it clear that's why i call it as food for thought is it clear so to all the upsc aspirants one general rule please stop watching those uh, clips in instagram and all you know with with lot of fakery and all telling you 
लेजेंड्स एंड ऑल अबाउट क्लियरिंग द एग्जामिनेशन अठारह घंटे उन्नीस घंटे इनफैक्ट जस्ट नाउ सीनियर ब्यूरोक्रैट हैज कम आउट विथ कंडेमनिंग सच फॉर्म्स ऑफ न्यूज बिकॉज दीज आर प्रमोटिंग सम फॉर्म ऑफ अब्यूज एंड इट इज करप्टिंग योर माइंड इज इट क्लियर यू शुड ऑलवेज हैव वन स्टैंडर्ड न्यूज पेपर कमिंग टू योर होम वन न्यूज पेपर इज इट क्लियर एंड यू शुड सब्सक्राइब टू टू न्यूज पेपर ऑनलाइन इज दिस क्लियर एक जो ये न्यूज पेपर है आपके साथ हमेशा होना चाहिए वेदर यू आर ट्रेवलिंग एनी वेयर यू आर गोइंग ये बहुत आसानी से मुड़ जाता है इज दिस क्लियर इसके बहुत सारे उपयोग भी हैं तो ये आपके साथ हमेशा होना चाहिए हैंडी इनफैक्ट इफ इफ यू वुड हैव सीन सम ऑफ द मूवीज ऑफ थर्टीज एंड फोर्टीज you know so the hollywood movies you will see that when they were waiting for trams they used to be opening their newspapers and reading it is this clear this was typical of the, the newspaper culture the newspaper should be your friend and if i were to i like indian express the most because it's it's very compact not very biased the hindu tends to be little left in its articles so the indian express tends to be more centrist in approach right so you have the the indian express a very good newspaper and you have the hindu that can be complemented with along with that you are required to go through lot of magazines as well for world affairs my personal best is the economist it's it's a fabulous magazine there are lots of good magazines that are available you have the front line and all the magazines i don't want you all to subscribe to those magazines we at the academy have subscribed subscriptions for almost all good magazines that are there whether it is epw the economist the frontline the outlook all magazines they are brought here so you all can have that access whenever you want is it clear you are required to have one newspaper and you are you can go through that magazine and that magazine should not be studied that should be only go went through when you whenever you're going through the magazine you are also revising whatever you have read in the newspaper is it clear that's that's the basis of what we call as newspaper reading so whenever you read the newspaper the front page is the most important page is it clear in the indian express now see if you are talking about this front page there is a news item shots fired at salman khan's bandra home right bishroi brother claims responsibility now you might ask ki sir isme kya important ho hame kya lena dena salman khan to pucha nahi jata but what is important is what form of security z security y plus security y security x security isn't it it's important for you to know that and you will see immediately in over here they were surprised that despite y plus security in addition to security provided by local bandra police station so you see there is a security provided by local bandra police station and there is y plus security now upsc has got its question whether the student has actually read the newspapers or he is he is simply getting knowledge from those over the you know those magazines and all it will ask a question from newspaper it will ask question on y plus security is it clear this is a for the matter it will simply ask a question which of the following with respect to y plus security is true it is provided by the state government now the brilliant candidate law and order is a state subject a is right which is wrong it is provided by ministry of home affairs you getting the point now see iran attack israel debates response us says won't take part in retaliation now you all know there is a israel hamas conflict going on right and in us there are elections joe biden he happens to be more liberal donald trump happens to be more far right joe biden he is in a state of crisis kare to kya kare isn't it because what is happening because of the humanitarian catastrophe that is happening in gaza the entire world is criticizing israel hai na aur us it is now unable to because what is us doing 
एक तरफ वो वेपन्स दे रहा है इसराइल को और दूसरी तरफ ह्यूमैनिटेरियन एड दे रहा है गाजन्स को इज इट क्लियर और यूएस बीच में ट्रैप हो गया हम इससे बाहर कैसे निकले इज इट क्लियर सो डोनाल्ड ट्रंप क्या बोलता है फ्री हैंड दे दो इसराइल गिव फ्री हैंड टू इसराइल लेट इट वाइप ऑफ गाजा इस एजेंडा के ऊपर यूएस के चुनाव हो रहे हैं यूएस के इलेक्शन हो रहे हैं फार राइट एंड द सेंट्रिस्ट जो बाइडन सो वॉट इज हैपनिंग नाउ दैट ईरान हैज एंटर्ड द वॉर वॉट विल हैपन इन यूएस वी हैव टू सी वेदर फार राइट डोनाल्ड ट्रंप विल गेन एन अपर हैंड और इट विल बी जो बाइडन एंड दिस यू हैव टू नो फ्रॉम न्यूज पेपर ऐसे उत्सुकता होनी चाहिए न्यूज पेपर में और यार कल वॉर स्टार्ट हो गया था अब क्या हुआ होगा next day you should be eagerly waiting for that newspaper is it clear and notes making should be there notes making ke liye sabse important hai diary diary and book keeping what you are supposed to do upsc crack karna bahut aasan hai you buy a year diary year diary you have seen us pe dates likha hota hai first jan second jan and what you do that diary you have to maintain it every day so today's date is 15th of april on 15th of april you have to mention every one line from every article that you are reading is it clear for example iran attacks israel and newspaper is your best friend because see the newspaper already gives you the कोर समरी इज एन इट सी नाइंटी नाइन परसेंट ऑफ मिसाइल ड्रोन शॉट डाउन सेज इसराइल इज देर अटेरियन लॉस नाउ नो बिकॉज इसराइल सेज की नाइंटी नाइन परसेंट हमने शॉट डाउन कर दिया वर्ल्ड अर्जेस रिस्ट्रेन जी सेवन कंडेम्स इरान अटैक जी सेवन तुरंत गूगल कर लेना वॉट इज हु आर द मेंबर्स ऑफ जी सेवन क्वेश्चन पूछा जा सकता है इज इट क्लियर read through tel aviv signals response may not be imminent so you you get a clear idea is it clear as you move ahead and one line you must write about this article is it clear dekhi next ek aur poles bonds in 14 tranches tmc got 23 crore from three firms linked to ex mp and saradha ex accused now ye article mein kya important hai now this article says according to data released by election commission is this the data that is released by finance ministry no this data is released by whom election commission bhai aap sochoge yaar poll bond hai funds mile to who must be talking about it finance ministry but is finance ministry looking into it no it is election commission because it deals with what पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज इज इट क्लियर उसको नोट कर लेना है दिस इज हाउ यू सी यू लुक एट दिस डेवलपमेंट अ पोल इशू इन बस्तर वेर नक्सल शेडो लूम्स लार्ज वेर इज बस्तर छत्तीसगढ़ विच आर द फॉरेस्ट अबुजमान इज दिस क्लियर वॉट इज दॉट आर द डिस्ट्रिक्ट एफेक्टेड विद लेफ्ट विंग एक्सट्रीमिज्म आपको पूरा पता होना चाहिए मलकंजगिरी है बस्तर है is this clear what is the characteristic feature what are the demands maoist insurgency kyon hai is it clear now there is one more question contrast with october 7 why delhi stand marks four shifts in mid east policy mid east diplomacy mein ab dekhiye mid east diplomacy kyon important hai aapko nahi lagta hamari energy needs kis pe hum dependent hai mid east pe isn't it we are getting oil from iran saudi arabia अरब स्टेट्स गल्फ स्टेट्स और वहां पे अगर वॉर हो जाएगा तो हमारे यहां क्या हो जाएगा इन्फ्लेशन इज इट सो दैट इज व्हाई इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कि व्हाट पॉलिसी इंडिया रिसोर्ट्स टू इज़राइल के साथ इंडिया ने डिप्लोमेटिक एक्सचेंजेस क्यों नहीं किए प्रैग्मेटिक था वो व्हाई भाई हम दूसरे की गोली सिर पर क्यों लें isn't it for india it is more important to make make sure that its own energy needs are satisfied diplomatic contacts is this clear so india has always refrained from indulging 
or meddling into affairs of Europeans, whether it is the Crimean war between Russia and Ukraine, whether it is war in West Asia. Is this clear? Isko hum, isko hum master, isko hum kehte draft diplomacy. Kya kehte hum? Draft diplomacy. How diplomacy is formulated? Right? So what we see, abhi fewer invites for Tutari players this poll season. Now it is NCP, Sharad Pawar symbol. Is pe question aa sakta hai Tutari jo hai, ye Maharashtra ka ek traditional instrument hai. Isn't it? Jab koi भाई कोई बहुत बड़ा काम करके आता था वो तुतरी से उसके बारे में बोला जाता था कहता ना इसकी तो तुतरी बोलती है इज इस क्लियर कि भाई यार ये तो बंदा जो है बहुत बड़े कारनामे करके आया है इज इट पहले क्या होता था व्हेन द व्हेन द वॉरियर्स दे यूज टू कम आफ्टर विनिंग अ वॉर तो वहां पे गांव में तुतरी बजाई जाती थी जोर जोर से and the women they used to get dressed up very nicely to you know to welcome them and that was a traditional festival aajkal to war wagera wo trend nahi hai so these instruments they are lost in oblivion but the point is it was always associated with the maratha glory the tutari if you talk about and sharad pawar sahab is a prominent maratha leader isn't it एनसीपी को सिंबल तो मिल गया तुतरी का बट आपके लिए इंपॉर्टेंट क्या है तुतरी का कल्चरल हिस्ट्री तो इस पर और क्वेश्चन क्या पूछा जा सकता है दूसरे स्टेट्स के कल्चरल जो ट्रेडिशनल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स है मृदंग है मृदंग कहां पर है साउथ इंडिया में वीणा मृदंग इज इस क्लियर तबला नॉर्थ इंडिया में है सितार ज क्लियर तो ये दीज थिंग्स यू शुड नो यू शुड लर्न इट वेल अंडरस्टैंड कि ठीक है क्वेश्चन पूछा गया है नाउ वेन मस्क लैंड एलॉन मस्क रेड कार्पेट फॉर टेस्ला टेस्ला आएगी बहुत जल्द इज इस क्लियर कैन यू सी द एंटायर पेज वॉज इंपॉर्टेंट इज इंट इट इफ यू लुक एट दिस पेज एंटायर पेज हैज सर्टन history certain information that might be useful for your preparation and it all depends upon you whether you are able to extract the information or not is it clear what is a well focused mind a mind which knows well what to extract from the information always is more informed is able to get valuable information Whereas a distracted mind would be reading more about Salman Khan. Yar, chot to nahi lag gayi bichare ko. Bhai, video dikha, video dikha, video dikha. Thok thok, awaz aari ho. Wo dik Suhail Khan khada. Isn't it? Is this required for UPSC? Dekhi, ek baat hamesha samaj lo. As a UPSC aspirant, hum bhoat bore kisam ke loog hoote. Is this clear? Hamari... नॉलेज जो है बहुत ड्राई होती है आपके सामने कोई दोस्त बैठे हो यार मानो सलमान खान के घर पे गोली चल गई और आप बोलोगे यार व्हाट इज द सिक्योरिटी मेरे ख्याल वाई प्लस सिक्योरिटी दिया हुआ है ना उसको पर्सन विल बी लुकिंग वाई वाई कैसा समझ में नहीं आया मुझे उसके साथ तो शेरा है ना <laughs> तो हमारा जो यूपीएससी का ज्ञान है ये कृपया बाहर पब्लिक में ना बोले आपकी बहुत ज्यादा निंदा हो सकती है कि यार ये बंदा बोर आ गया इज दिस क्लियर सो यू हैव टू बी वेरी केयरफुल विद रिस्पेक्ट टू दिस ट्रेंड इज इट क्लियर बट देन दिस एंटायर पेज इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इंडियन एक्सप्रेस का जो दूसरा पेज रहता है इट इज जनरली कंटिन्यूशन ऑफ द फर्स्ट पेज यू कैन ऑलवेज स्किप द थर्ड पेज द सिटी Not important at all. UPSC के लिए important नहीं होता है नागपुर में पुणे edition आता है and then there is decision 2024 थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर पॉलिटिकल है पॉलिटिकल में अगर कुछ न्यूज आपको मिलती है रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ पीपल्स एक्ट इलेक्शन कमीशन पॉलिटी से रिलेटेड तो तो आप उसे पढ़ोगे अगर कोई बयानबाजी है नेताओं के बोल कब पलट जाए भरोसा नहीं है ना 
ऐसी कहावत होती है कि यस देर इज अ डाउट सॉरी वेन देर इज अ वेन देर इज देर देर इज ऑलवेज दिस पॉलिटिकल स्टेटमेंट गिवन यू शुड नेवर इंडल्ज इन इट इज दिस क्लियर वेदर देर इज अ पॉलिटिकल न्यूज दैट इज वाई आई एडवाइज यू पी एस सी स्टूडेंट्स टू नॉट गेट न्यूज फ्रॉम न्यूज चैनल्स इज इट क्लियर यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू गेट न्यूज फ्रॉम न्यूज चैनल्स यू आर ओनली एंड ओनली गोइंग टू गेट न्यूज फ्रॉम न्यूज पेपर्स सौ बका एक लिखा इज दिस क्लियर नेवर ट्रस्ट वॉट यू हियर ट्रस्ट वॉट यू सी एंड बिलीव वॉट यू रीड इज दिस क्लियर दैट्स वाई रीड बिफोर यू थिंक एंड थिंक बिफोर यू राइट इज दिस क्लियर यूपीएससी आई एस ऑफिसर बनना है तो यह समझ लीजिए यस थिंक यू आर टू अर्ली फॉर टूमोरो ओके प्लीज 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 is this clear so when you are when you are talking about newspapers they are fundamental is it clear and you should know this very well then there is this very good page of indian express which is called express network fifth page rehta hai ye page aapko kabhi miss nahi karna hai very important page and over here see warranty of jumlas and all for lead see modi ki guarantee 2024 hame koi interest nahi hai political news mein लेकिन जो इश्यूज रेज किए गए हैं वो इंपॉर्टेंट है इज एन डेट सपोज ही इज टॉकिंग अबाउट आयुष्मान भारत कवरेज यू शुड नो व्हाट इज आयुष्मान भारत आपको पॉलिटिकली कभी भी बायस नहीं होना एकदम न्यूट्रल रहना है आपको आप समझ गए यू हैव टू बी एब्सोल्यूटली न्यूट्रल नीदर दिस नॉर दैट देखिए बाद में जब आप ऑफिसर्स बन जाओगे सरकार चाहे कोई भी पॉलिटिकल पार्टी की हो आपको आपका काम करना है इन योर व्यूज इन योर ओरिएंटेशन इन योर आउटलुक यू शुड नेवर बी हैविंग एनी फॉर्म ऑफ एफिलिएशन टू बी एब्सोल्यूटली न्यूट्रल तो पॉलिटिकल न्यूज को आप हाथ नहीं लगा रहे सो प्रॉमिस टू इंक्रीज इंक्रीज इन एमएसपी तो आपको ये पता होना चाहिए कौन कौन से फूड आइटम्स एमएसपी में इंक्लूडेड है right then you move to the next page dekhi idea exchange isme ek bahut acha interview hai mir shimer ek bahut bade analyst hai professor hai agar aise professor ka interview aata hai isko miss aapko nahi karna is it clear you don't have to ever miss it because you are almost like having a word with him उनके जो व्यूज है वो आप समझ रहे हो फॉर एग्जाम्पल सी द क्वेश्चन इज वॉट डू यू थिंक चाइना इज थिंकिंग अबाउट इंडिया आपको नहीं लगता दिस पर्सन हुज हैविंग इयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस स्टडिंग इंटरनेशनल रिलेशन हैज अ बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ वॉट चाइना इज थिंकिंग अबाउट इंडिया देन यू ऑन मी अ स्मार्ट पर्सन वुड बी टेकिंग सी वॉट यू कैन से फ्रॉम अ चाइनीज पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू वन मेन कंसर्न इज द बॉर्डर बिटवीन इंडिया एंड चाइना the chinese want to grow very powerful relative to india and they would then like to settle the border dispute on their terms is this clear settling the border dispute on their terms so if you ever want to understand what china is thinking about india you will have this information coming to your rescue is it clear so you have the you read this <coughs> such forms of excerpts and then comes the treat i would say the the main course the editorial is this clear the editorial is the main course for you today we are not going to discuss about the mains uh, portion of upsc i have restricted myself only to general studies right the reason why i have restricted myself to general studies because mains lectures would i would require four lectures to explain you what is upsc mains but if you talk about editorials the way upsc asks questions in prelims from the newspapers 
I'll prove it to you. UPSC asks question directly from newspapers in the mains, rather more intensively. I can tell you with full responsibility that a student who is having a newspaper oriented <coughs> strategy will crack this examination with fewer books, only good mentorship in first attempt. And a student who refrains from newspapers and goes with lots of books will never clear the examination, even after 10 attempts. Chai attempts hote hain, exaggeration se baat kare. Is it clear? So you see, there's this food for thought. Very good. You will always, but then, if you're having Guru Prakash, he is a, he has written something, don't take him seriously. So he is a dear friend, but then, the views are politically biased. So be thoda careful rehna. Is it clear? Then comes main course ho gaya aapka. Ab aya maza desert ka. The Indian Express explained. Is this clear? Now this is a treat for you. Ras Malai, Gulab Jamun, sab hai ismo. Is this clear? The real treat. Explained me. See, two bullocks to hand a sort of symbol. Symbol ke upar kya politics hai? Party symbols pe politics kya hoti? India's hepatitis headache. Right? How did star residing in dragon's egg, nebula, get a magnetic field? Isn't it interesting? So we see what Moscow attack suggests from ISKP and emerging ter terror threats. So this explained page should not be missed ever. You have to be very, very careful. Is this clear? Then economy page is very important. Read word by word. You can skip private companies. Is this clear? Suppose there is a news article about Tata, news article about Reliance, leave it. Is this clear? We are the public sector. Is this clear? So you can ignore the private sector unless there is a policy in the private sector. Then you have the world affairs. Read kar lena, but ye insufficient rahega. World news must always be prepared from good magazines. Is this clear? Do not go after a lot of these things. Sports mein, haan, kisi ki accomplishment hai, kisi ne kuch achieve kiya hai. Kaun se sports se related hai? You should only remember that. Kaise kiya? Wo thriller yaad rakhne ki zarurat nahi. In the last two hours, it was Mahendra Singh Dhoni who came to bat, no, nothing. Leave aside. Haan, kuch exceptional achievement raha hai, jaise, we have Palak makes it 16 out of 16 Indian pistol rifle quotas for Paris games. So, ye pata kar lena, tennis kaun kaun se types hai, Wimbledon kaun sa hai, French Open kaun sa hai, Australian Open kaun sa hai, kaun se mahine mein hai, Olympics ki koi news aa rahi hai. But you have to be current affairs oriented. Is it clear to you? आपके पास सिर्फ 6 से 8 200 200 पेजेस के पतले पतले नोट्स होने चाहिए स्टैंडर्डाइज्ड बुक्स हिस्ट्री के होंगे पॉलिटी के होंगे इकोनॉमी के होंगे ज्योग्राफी एनवायरनमेंट इकोलॉजी एंड जनरल साइंस दैट्स इट एंड रेस्ट ऑल यू हैव टू स्टडी विद करंट अफेयर्स करंट इवेंट्स is this clear to you? That's called a smart studying. And the learning outcome is maximum. Prelims will be a cakewalk for you. Aapko pata ye jo prelim examination hua 2023, what is the expected cutoff? What was the expected cutoff? 90 kya aas pas? 88. 88 ko expected. 88 matlab aapko sirf 42 to 44, 45 questions aapko negative marking ke baad mein aapko is range mein aana tha aur joh bohat aasaan hai agar kisi student ne basics achhi tarah kiya aur faltu ke joh hai 
गलत अटेम्प्ट्स ना किए हों करंट इवेंट्स अच्छी तरह किए हों तो दिस एग्जाम वुड बी वेरी इजी फॉर दैट स्टूडेंट इनफैक्ट इट वुड बी जस्ट अन अदर डे कंपेयर टू दैट दो स्टूडेंट्स हु इंडल्ज इन टू स्टडिंग टू मच एक्सटेंसिवली टू मच इंटेंसिवली ये भी पढ़ लिया वो भी पढ़ लिया कुछ कुछ तो हीरोज मैंने देखे पीएम बख्शी के बेर एक्ट रटते हैं यार इज दिस क्लियर इतना भी जोश ठीक नहीं इज दिस क्लियर जोश के साथ होश रहे आई कैन अश्योर यू यू कैन बी श्योर ऑफ क्लियरिंग दिस एग्जामिनेशन इट्स द एग्जाम इज वेरी सिंपल बट देन वॉट हैज हैपन्ड During recent times, there is a trend: muddy the water to make it look deep. अगर बहुत गहराई दिखानी है ना तो वो पानी को गंदा कर दो लोग कहेंगे यार भगवान बड़ी चीज कुछ कुछ मंत्र देने आ जाते हैं नहीं ऐसे नहीं ऐसे हो जाएगा वो जैसे बाबा होते हैं ना घर जाके जो है ये कर ले ये हो जाए For UPSC, the the discipline, dedication. and one year you have to be sincere reading newspaper very specific set ek newspaper aapke paas aana chahiye daily wo newspaper padhna chahiye book keeping aapke paas mein bahut achhi honi chahiye notes making hona chahiye aur daily us notes ko aapko revise karna hai prelims ke exam tak prelims after prelims exam then you move towards mains exam don't indulge into random studies is this clear that's the main objective for the upsc examination is this clear any doubt you have please ask anything anything yes we have a question so how do we come to know that we are on the right direction for the examination yes that's a very good question is as what's your what's your name acha you were in my classes in delhi which which year 1819 1819 okay so here is my past student what are you doing now have you attempted uh, sir i've been preparation since last uh, why some problems issues and i got married sir two months ago so i'll i'll give you an option yes sir uh, have your wife in your preparation okay. okay fine both of you get into preparation mode yes very good very good there is no job like civil services is this clear yes sir yes that's good so we are meeting after almost 6 years ha huh? <clears throat> see the best way to assess whether you are on the right track is writing is this clear you should revise every day whatever you have studied and you must make good notes out of it newspapers standard set of textbooks and then you should constantly interact with the mentor is it clear about issues this is what i am doing after every week after every 8 to 10 days is this clear so you must always uh, cross like for example let us say you are reading about arab israel con israel hamas war and then you have been reading for quite a lot of time you say sir i have read about rafa i have read about hamas humanitarian conflict uh, how how much more in depth i am supposed to read it is this clear so then i might say that okay you take down notes certain excerpts certain summarized forms present it to me so there are two aspects which we see among students one is clouding of information too much of information gets stored in the mind and the memory is unable to recall it when the memory is unable to recall so much of information at that point of time there is a mental block you don't know where to start the information from you don't know where to start and where to end 
then I would say you're on the wrong path. Is this clear? Then you have to keep everything aside and what you're supposed to do is you have to get back to basics. You have to get the entire information straight on paper, linearly have it all assembled, organized, go through it, read it, make a note and then proceed ahead. Is this clear? So in studies have to be linear, it should not be haphazard. Is it clear? It should not be that you are first reading about Israel, then you suddenly shift towards Iran, and then Iran you read about Ahmed in, uh, this Ayatollah Khamenei, right? And then suddenly his statement is given, and then you read about his statement, then you come across another uh, particular statement given. So, you know, these forms of uh, a very distracted learning is not good for you. Linear learning. Is it clear? Why did Israel attack Hamas? What is Hamas? Is it clear? Why is there so much of humanitarian crisis? Isn't it? Isn't it? Millions of innocents are getting killed. Humanitarian catastrophe. And aren't we on a verge of a world war? Yes, we are. There are two wars. One, Russia, Ukraine. Another is what? Israel and Iran, uh, uh, Israel and Iran, Iran has entered the war. Ab usme agar Trump Baba ajate hain, America mein, isn't it? What will happen? There will be further exaggeration, there would be escalation. Is it clear? So, aapke ideas bahut clear hone chahiye. So, there has to be a lot of questioning that you have to do with the information. Suppose you are reading about election symbol you should counter question and while making notes you must always write the question first and then write an answer question first then an answer question first and then an answer like this question answer question answer style so your ideas are more clear when you ask questions to your own information the information gets more refined nice to see you after so long so get back to your preparations is it clear Okay, that's that's great. That's great. Get back to it again. Yes. Yes. Any other? Any other doubt? Question? Query? Sir, I have a question. Ah, yes. the, the questions that you mentioned come from different sources of newspapers. Hmm. How does one keep up with the amount of information, even in terms of newspapers? Like, if ah. I focus on the Indian Express, hmm. there's something that the Indian Express did not cover. Yeah. For example, and. How do I keep up with the information? Oh, very good, very good. The question is very good. Ki, sir, how newspaper padhe? Kabhi aapne Science Week ki magazine se nikal liya? Kabhi question Indian Express se, kabhi Hindu se hai? How many newspapers should I study? You are required to study only one newspaper. Baki ka kaam hamara hai. Is it clear? Because you have to also go through some basics. Abhi aapko constitution yaad karna hai, article 44, 43b, chalo bhai koi, koi bhi issue aa jata hai. Constitution yaad karna padta hai. Constitution ka basic principle kya hai. And that, along with that, aapko history ke charter acts yaad karna hai. Uske baad mein aapko economy ke data yaad karna hai, figures yaad karna hai, GDP kitna hai. Isn't it? MSP ke prices kya hai? So what happens in memorizing, you are left with lesser time to have extensive information. So what you can resort to is reading one newspaper and leaving the rest to the mentor. Is it clear? So suppose you give a good three hours to your newspaper. Is this clear? We always have classes in the evening and there is a reason for that. Morning time, you should be done with your newspaper. Three hours. Two to three hours newspaper reading is a must, along with making of notes. And also revising what has happened before. And correlation should be there. For example, you read in the newspaper, Supreme Court had heard both the parties and it has reserved its order. So you should know very well, the coming week, the Supreme Court is about to deliver its verdict. And you should be eagerly waiting for that. Is this clear? So whenever you are reading newspaper, you should have this form of a strategy. And after having this form of a strategy, 
what you can do is the conditioning that is there with respect to other information you can leave it to the mentor so while the lecture is going on if he is having access to a lot of information and all that can be processed into you can stimulate that particular discussion while the exam while, while the lecture is happening now over here the attempt should not be to indulge into a discussion or an argument no it should be to get more clarity and information is it clear so with respect to any current event that is happening now we are about to have the elections if there is a lot of doubt with respect to model code of conduct is this clear electoral bonds all these issues so you should have a better idea ki what are these issues all about but the underlying principle i repeat again newspaper newspaper and is this clear i think kanishk was in 1718 batch yes, <laughs> so mathematics ha huh, yes so when i am talking about the the newspaper reading you have to always adhere to one standard newspaper constant revision is it clear any other doubt yes yes ma'am wait wait this is a question asked uh, my doubt is very basic like uh, which kind of degree or graduation students should pursue ah. if they aspire to get UPSC i have i am here for my daughter okay yes yes i i would say that a graduation in any discipline to her liking even if she wants to pursue fine arts fine enough Hmm. Yes. So, like, I am doctor. My son has was a neat talker also. Hmm. My daughter is she is opting for like different path. So, maybe they aspire to get the career, career ki basic security bhi honi chahiye. Hmm. But same way, she should uh, not be so much indulged in that. Uh, See, I'll 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 put it this way. There is no career for mediocrities. I mean, to make a career in any discipline. a person has to be exceptional in it and this exceptional attitude of excellence <coughs> comes from the interest the interest must be very good for example a a fine lawyer right a fine doctor a wonderful architect a fine i would say all professions they are kept equally one can never overrate a lawyer or a doctor or a or or any particular person to be particularly become a doctor or uh, like iit and like this mm, absolutely not absolutely not i'll tell you I'll, this is a misconception now what happens is why mehnat kyu karni padti hai kyunki students they have not studied till 10th standard and then suddenly after 10th standard now if students they have studied chemistry well through their entire 10th standard if they know what the periodic table is if they know the very basics of chemistry i don't think they will have to study extremely hard to mug up things the problem is where does the load come because students they are not interested with the subject they are only interested with the exam last year questions mein kya aayega wo karke there's only a memory exercise they are least interested of what the core concept is आप उनसे मेंडलीव के बारे में पूछिए वो कहेंगे हाँ हाँ उसने पहला पीरियोडिक टेबल अरे भाई मेंडलीव का इंटरेस्ट क्या था हाउ इज अ रेवोल्यूशनरी वाई इज मेंडलीव अ न्यूटन फॉर द केमिस्ट्री गाइस दिस शुड बी द क्यूरियोसिटी अमंग्स द स्टूडेंट्स यू नो ओके केमिस्ट्री आई लव केमिस्ट्री मैथ्स ओ वाओ ओके आई लव मैथ्स आई आई नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड मैथ्स इंटेग्रल कैलकुलस शुड नॉट बी अ मेमोरी एक्सरसाइज वेर यू आर सिंपली नोटिंग डाउन फॉर्मुलेज एंड ट्राइंग टू डिराइव जनरलाइजेशन but you must understand okay if i am supposed to give or you know students they must have such a curiosity you know why is newton newton look at newton previously man was the center of universe is this clear and suddenly newton comes comes out with his findings integral calculus and everything and then newton makes the universe infinite and there is a trend towards infinity isn't it we come across what limits 
moving towards what limits integral calculus maxima minima the maths it broke all forms of constraints whether you restrict it to algebra geometry body sizes abstract maths comes in abstraction probability you know, calculus and that's how we see augustus comte talking about positivism a new form of a zeal with respect to academics that is what is expected from candidates you know having an an urge okay i want to know more is this clear you simply ask a student okay in geometry if i ask you a square how are you going to ca calculate the area he says okay i'm going to get the circumference and the area on the basis of mathematical formula but then you present him with the irregular object is this clear a very irregular object because in in the in the nature you do not see regular objects how now how are you going to measure the area so you have a maxima minima then you have a curve and then you have a tendency so you have the calculus <laughs> the integrals the derivatives you use those tools and you come out with a solution right so what happens is when such a curiosity is ignited then it becomes a fabulous fertile mind and you hand him a textbook and before you know he has already mastered it and he is already asking questions on it he wants more and then he is not struggling he is enjoying it isn't it that's what is academics i always say ma'am that if a student is struggling with education it's not the fault of the student it's fault of the teacher it's almost like the cook that is failing to provide the food in a tasty manner right sometimes my son he asks me that okay i don't want to eat this i don't want to eat that you know like this he he comes to me so the idea is that how are we serving it to him isn't it we have to take care of both nutrition also and health also so ma'am at this point of time i would say she can pursue if she wants to pursue humanities she can go with pursuing any subject law also is good enough now you know dy chandrachud i mean recently he was in nagpur and if you ever here him one of the finest gentlemen right highest keeper uh, then medical is equally good and then yes certainly wonderful i mean with respect to even if she wants to make a career <coughs> in literature and if she is really good at it suppose if she is really good at literature has got an excellent uh, narration and all you know do not restrict it over there she can pursue anything whichever she wants to excel into now if you talk about it you have bloggers really good bloggers who are able to write really well you have uh, in fact uh, a lot of uh, good articles compositions narrations that is being carried out so she can pursue any academic career without any yes Yeah, just just a minute, just a minute, beta. Huh. Right, sir. Uh, so my first question pertains to studying of international relations. Mm. Uh, so I do find that this subject is very complex. Now you did mention that we have wonderful articles that come and we can express all the views in favor. So, so when we are making notes, hmm. uh, you know what should be our basis? Like for example, if they ask, what is your stance on, <coughs> on let's say the Gaza conflict that's happening? Right. So what should be our stance? Also, my dear, is it what the Indian foreign policy is doing? With with your own innovation exactly. gut instinct exactly see first of all you should know a subject matter thoroughly well you should know the world history a historical context within which that development is taking place right you should know what exactly is the genesis to the arab israel conflict a general idea you should know about abraham you should know about hager you know just a basic know how i'm not asking you to dwell into great details about it but you should know about abrahamic religions you should know about betul muqaddas you should know about jerusalem you should know about practices is this clear basic know how 
I'm not asking you to get into subject matter of expertise. I tried doing so, and I remember that I went all into it, and I was like, really and that, that's, that's, a that's, a that's a trap. That's a trap. I have told you that you don't have to go. Because this is a lot of trouble. You get carried away. And then that's something disastrous for you because you will waste a precious time. That's why newspapers are the best because they limit your curiosity till a particular time period. And uh, for my students, I generally avoid recommending them any form of book. You're never supposed to buy any standard textbooks without asking the mentor. Ek bar IAS ban jao, post le lo, फिर जिंदगी भर पढ़ाई करते रहना डिग्रियां इकट्ठे करते रहना बड़ी बड़ी किताबें स्पेशल लीव भी मिलती है इज दिस क्लियर डॉक्टरेट कर लेना इज इट क्लियर जो मन है वो करना लेकिन एक बार पहले वर्दी पहन लो या फिर पोस्ट एक अपने हाथ में ले लो वो इंश्योरेंस है आपके आई का मतलब है आई एम सुपर इज दिस क्लियर so once just get it into get into services और देखिए मैं आपको एक और बात बताना चाहता हूँ ऐसा बिल्कुल नहीं है कि IAS crack करने वाले extraordinary students होते हैं no in fact वो extraordinary IAS बन मतलब crack exam किए इसीलिए बनते हैं उससे पहले तक वो नहीं होते और इस process के अंदर you have to be mediocre. Don't be brilliant at all. The problem with brilliance is it wants to master everything. And that's where the brilliant, they get carried away and they lose. Is this clear? So what happens? Curiosity kills the cat. Don't be over curious. Restrict yourself to the syllabus. If you see something that's happening and if you want to know more about it, come and sit with the mentor, discuss, not with your friends. And one more thing I'm telling you, never go after successful students who have cleared the exam. Unki book list batai hui ya unka study pattern. Kyunki wo unke liye work kiya, aapke liye work karega ya nahi, iski koi गारंटी नहीं है उनका बैकग्राउंड अलग था अंडरस्टैंडिंग अलग थी मेथडोलॉजी अलग थी और बहुत बार स्टूडेंट्स जो है एग्जाम क्रैक करने के बाद में थोड़े से फेंकू भी हो जाते हैं इजेंट इट वो होता है ना मेरे घर से दस किलोमीटर दूर स्कूल था और मैं पैदल जाता था इज इस क्लियर ये ये आ जाता है कहते हैं ना कि जब भगवान हुस्न देता है तो रुख और एटीट्यूड अपने आप आ जाता है तो जब पावर और पोस्टिंग मिलती है तो नरेशन अपने आप आ जाता है तो बी वेरी वेरी ड्राई अपनी प्रिपरेशन में क्योंकि मैं आपको बताता हूँ आपको मेंस में एक क्वेश्चन को आंसर करने में साढ़े सात मिनट मिलने वाले सेवन एंड हाफ मिनट्स and that question and the, the answers that you, the narrative जो आप दोगे ना answers मैं आपको अपना एक example बताता हूँ हमारे वक्त जब दो optionals थे I had prepared uh, you know history and political science for my two optional subjects I had prepared the subject very well and quite I have written all the principles and everything और दिल्ली में सर्दी बहुत खतरनाक होती थी और ढोलपुर house में paper था ऐसी square घड़ी होती थी अभी भी है नौ बजते ही paper शुरू हो जाता था and we used to be like कि यार पेपर शुरू करने से पहले कुछ तो लिख ले हाथ पर हाथ जो है ठंडे नहीं होने चाहिए and then when we were ready for that for the answer at all the moment the question paper comes when you read the question for one minute you are completely blank you don't know what to pen and after that one minute next thirty seconds you start recollecting things and then you organize them that another one minute is lost. There is no time for you to recall facts. It should be as prompt as I'm calling you, your, if I call your name and you look at it without thinking that you have to 
reply in this manner that's how upsc preparation has to be and the best is the lesser the better the lesser the better information kam honi chahiye precise honi chahiye defined honi chahiye फिर तो उसका उपयोग है अगर आपकी इंफॉर्मेशन बहुत ज्यादा है और आप घूम जाते हो समझाने में शायराना हो जाते हो तो आपका स्थान यूपीएससी नहीं संसद है इज दिस क्लियर सो यू हैव टू बी वेरी वेरी पर्टिकुलर तो अपने आप को न्यूज़पेपर तक रेस्ट्रिक्ट रखो सिर्फ और ऑप्शनल भी जितना लिखोगे उतना क्लियर करोगे डोंट ट्राई टू बिकम सब्जेक्ट एक्सपर्ट आई हैव सीन कि ऑप्शनल में भी जो है आपका ऑब्जेक्टिव क्या होना चाहिए एग्जाम क्रैक करना सब्जेक्ट कैसा है इससे क्या होगा क्या नहीं होगा लीव इट ऑल असाइड आपने एक बार एग्जाम क्रैक कर ली आप आई बन गए आप कहीं पे कलेक्टर बने हो तो वहां का जेई इंजीनियर चीफ इंजीनियरिंग ऑफिसर वो आके आपको सब कुछ समझाएगा ही उसका काम ही है सब कुछ समझाना आपको ट्रेनिंग पे दिल्ली लेकर जाएंगे वहां सब कुछ बता देंगे आपको कि भाई ऐसे नहीं ऐसे है इज इज क्लियर द सीएमओ हैज टू रिपोर्ट टू अ कलेक्टर इज इट क्लियर तो उसको वो बताना ही पड़ेगा उसको जी ऐसा है ऐसा ऐसा होने वाला है सो यू डू नॉट ट्राई टू बिकम द मास्टर ऑफ ऑल ट्रेड Is this clear? Just know something of everything, but that something has to be very, very precise, defined, certain. ताकि लिखते वक्त जो है आप निर्धारित रहे. No, no, absolutely not. Articulation of ideas. That when I'm talking about writing skills, it's all about articulation of ideas. When you talk about writing skills, it denotes a conditioned mind, a mind that is conditioned to express ideas. For example. if you watch a movie and go back to your friend and he asks you what was the story and you are unable to explain the entire movie in a chronological manner in a organized manner in a defined manner in the shortest possible words then you lack an ability to comprehend information comprehending information is very important that is assimilating the entire information summarizing it comprehending it and then after comprehending it recalling and expressing it in a desired articulated manner with the right choice of words so your while writing answers your first introduction should be the very gist and a summary and a generalization of the entire subject matter that you are going to deal with so to the examiner or a reader it is a form of a summary that you that you write to create an interest or to give him an idea what you are going to describe or elaborate in the upcoming passage so this what should the rookie sir to develop this skills like practice right 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 yes uh, please uh, pay attention here when it comes to articulation of ideas you should have clarity with respect to difference between concepts and facts is this clear always remember facts are like bricks and concept is the mortar the cement that holds the bricks together that's how you build the structure 
and you should know when you when you understand the concept better you know the relevant fact when you are not clear about the concept you don't know the relevance of the fact associated with it is this clear and generally such a person gets confused with respect to the fact that is to be associated with the concept is it clear so the first formula is conceptual clarity and with conceptual clarity there must be relevant facts relevant facts associated with it and that must be articulated is this clear so for example data data must be memorized aur memorization karne ke do tarike pehle usi shabd ko english mein likho fir hindi mein likho is this clear aur interchangeably likhte raho और दूसरा तरीका क्या है जो चीज याद नहीं होती रात को सोने से पहले उसे पांच बार रीड करो और सुबह सोकर उठते ही ब्रश वगैरह कुछ नहीं करना उसको पांच बार रीड कर लेना इस इज क्लियर वर बेटिम याद हो जाएगा इज इट क्लियर हम कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन वर बेटिम याद करते थे आर्टिकल 44 फोर द स्टेट सिक्योर्स टू ऑल इट्स सिटीजन द स्टेट शैल एम एट सिक्योरिंग टू ऑल इट्स सिटीजन यूनिफॉर्म सिविल कोड इसमें लॉ लाना आवश्यक है क्या नहीं डीपीएसपी क्या कहता है देखिए डीपीएसपी का आर्टिकल 43 बी अगर आप रीड करो उसमें क्या लिखा है विथ सुटेबल लेजिस्लेशन लेकिन आर्टिकल 44 अगर आप स्टडी करोगे उसमें क्या लिखा है द स्टेट शैल एंडीवर मतलब लॉ लाना जरूरी है क्या नहीं जरूरी है ये क्लैरिटी किससे आएगी अगर आप उसे अच्छी तरह से पढ़ोगे समझोगे याद करोगे बार बार मेमोराइजेशन बार बार और और बार बार उससे क्लैरिटी आती है देन यू डोंट उसके बाद में आपको याद नहीं करना पड़ेगा वो माइंड अपने आप इतना ज्यादा एनलाइटन हो जाता है इट कनेक्ट्स द डॉट्स ऑन इट्स ओन एंड दिस कम्स विथ प्रैक्टिस इज दिस क्लियर प्रैक्टिस प्रैक्टिस एंड प्रैक्टिस कम में बम इज दिस क्लियर ये प्रिंसिपल है थोड़ी सी लूज भाषा बोल रहा हूं इज दिस क्लियर जितना आपके पास स्टडी मटेरियल लीन होगा जितना कंसाइज होगा जितना समराइज होगा उतने आपके अच्छे नंबर आएंगे इज इट क्लियर एनी अदर डाउट दे वॉज सम क्वेश्चन क्वेरी है बेटा यस यस प्लीज यस एनी अदर क्वेरी यू हैव विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एनीथिंग एल्स यस वी आर स्टार्टिंग द क्लासेस फ्रॉम टुमोरो I would say the early the better. Early, early the better. I would I, I would say uh, no graduation is late. And after the, once the student is eligible for uh, appearing for the examination, the student must go for the shot, first attempt. The twenty one years of age, twenty one years of age and graduation. Student must be ready for the exam then. I would never recommend student to waste time. Time नहीं waste करना है guys. ये जो examination का preparation है लंबा process है और मैं बिल्कुल नहीं कहूंगा किसी को भी time waste करो जल्दी clear करके अफसर बन जाओ Is this clear? And let me tell you, with complete humility, I have a student over here. Every year. I have seen hundreds of students clearing the examination and one thing that was common amongst all of them with whom I have interacted was number 1 it wasn't their brilliance it wasn't their genius but it was their dedication ye pariksha aapke intelligence ki nahi hai aapke character ki hai if you are diligent sincere disciplined nobody can stop you from becoming an ias officer main aapko ye with complete integrity bata raha hu responsibly bata raha hu 
लेकिन अगर आपका रिजोल्यूशन ही ढीला ढाला है दो महीने बाद आपका मोटिवेशन खत्म हो जाता है आप डिस्ट्रैक्ट जल्दी हो जाते हो कंटिन्यूटी नहीं है तो आप कुछ भी कर लो आपका ये पेपर क्लियर नहीं होगा द स्टूडेंट्स हु स्टार्ट अर्ली देर इज एन एडवांटेज फॉर देम दे आर एबल टू रिमेन मोर फोकस थ्रू आउट द प्रोसेस ऑफ द एग्जाम द माइंड गेट्स कंडीशन सो आई वुड से अ स्टूडेंट कैन ऑल्सो स्टार्ट प्रिपरेशन आफ्टर टेंथ ऑल्सो नो हार्म इन दैट फाउंडेशन कोर्स के पीछे ऑब्जेक्टिव ये रहता है आई टेल यू द आइडिया अबाउट फाउंडेशन कोर्स द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया एज अ डॉक्यूमेंट इज वेरी वास्ट कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल लॉ हैपन्स टू बी वेरी वास्ट लाइक आफ्टर मोर देन ट्वेंटी ईयर्स ऑफ यू नो studying it i think another 30 years are also insufficient to get a understanding over it so that student gets an opportunity to understand constitution economics history you know the depth over it so what happens if a student has been reading newspapers since last 5 years don't you think that student has a better connect rather than a student who has just picked up newspapers so it's almost like whereas somebody is at a take off stage another person has already reached a height and it's ready to deliver so it's it's more about saving time very good question he has asked बहुत अच्छा क्वेश्चन द आइडिया इज वेदर शुड यू शुड यू हैव अ स्कैटर्ड फॉर्म ऑफ सब्जेक्ट वो डेंजरस है इनफैक्ट दैट्स अ डेंजरस प्रैक्टिस इन डेली बहुत डेंजरस है ओपनिंग ऑल डोर्स फॉर यूपीएससी द प्रिंसिपल शुड बी ओपन वन डोर क्लोज इट एंड देन ओपन अनदर एट द मोस्ट यू कैन क्लब इट टू सब्जेक्ट क्योंकि क्या होगा आपने अगर एक सब्जेक्ट पढ़ा और आप फिर नेक्स्ट डे उस सब्जेक्ट को रिवाइज नहीं करते हो आप या फिर एक वीक तक आप उस सब्जेक्ट पर रेपिटेटिवली अपने माइंड को उस सब्जेक्ट का स्टिम्यूलस नहीं देते हो द सब्जेक्ट द इंफॉर्मेशन डज नॉट बिकम पार्ट ऑफ योर लॉन्ग टर्म मेमोरी इट रिमेन्स इन अ शॉर्ट टर्म मेमोरी एंड देन आफ्टर सम टाइम when you add other information to you it's gone it's very important for you to take a subject matter information take it to the long term memory and that is done only when repeatedly repeatedly you subject the mind to that stimulus the mind gets conditioned is this clear and then reflexes become strong recall is better so it's always good to have two subjects going hand in hand completing it so open a door door or two close it then open another then open another then open another that's a much better strategy trying to open up all subject in fact the reason why i resigned from delhi one of the reason was i wanted a pedagogy by myself i wanted to teach the way i want to i don't want scattering of information in a haphazard manner iska matlab main aapko simple bata deta hu suppose i am teaching you the preamble or i am teaching you uh, let's go for the simple subject suppose i am teaching you charter act of 1830 and you are in the 19th century time period in order to get a gist and a, a definite defined understanding about the 19th century you need a quality time of 100 to 150 hours continuously 
Is this clear? Repeatedly, quality, qualitative, with constant readings, visualizations. Is this clear? Recalls. Then, then that concept seeds in. Is this clear? Before that, it doesn't seed in. Rather, you are a confused chap. So, for a month or so, you subject it, subject your mind to that information, make it fertile, then move another. Go bit by bit, bit by bit, slow and steady, slow and steady. Then the foundation is strong, I, concepts are clear, relevance with respect to current events is more defined, articulation is specific, there is confidence, stability in your thoughts, speech and conduct. Is this clear? So that, that's how academics shapes your mind. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Please, please. So, so that's it. I think that's, that's also an indication. Right? We shall call it a day. I hope you have had, please. You have had a good understanding of the trend towards cracking civil services. And the next video we will be uploading it soon. Thank you. Thank you very much.